Hi. Well, it's 20 after 4. It's raining. Finally started raining. It's funny because the sky doesn't look as black or ominous as it has all day and now it's raining. But um, it's just raining lightly, which is great because this tarp is not really set up for a heavy rain. Um, I got the fire going nicely with those uh, pieces of um, driftwood that I found. I just put the the foil grill part just on the back of the fire pit just to kind of keep it dryish. And um, I'm sitting under the tarp on my little picnic table. So I'm just sitting here nice and warm and cozy with my fire going. Um, I'm reading my book, Trials and Tribulations. You don't need to see it again. And I'm um, going to make dinner in about an hour or so. to move my wood cutting uh, station in, indoors so <laughs> got it right under my tarp my leg is right under the diamond part and uh, got it up on the, the picnic table yep. staying dry and cozy yep. I've been sitting here all day trying to clean my hands because my fingernails were so dirty and um, I, I got them pretty clean but the insides are really bad. Um, this, my thumb, um, split in there, and my skin is just looking really rough, like really dry and um, very dirty. They hurt too, my hands hurt a lot. Well, let's see, what'd you miss? Uh, it stopped raining, it started raining, it stopped raining, it started raining. It's not raining hard, very grateful. Um, Move the uh, all the wood from that was drying around there off because it's dry enough, and I have lots of dry wood. Um, and move the grill down so that the water could boil. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to make the whole dinner on there, but um, I just have a full cup of water in there. I'm going to make uh, myself a cup of tea here. I just have a ginger peach tea, and um, just to warm up my insides. And then the rest of the water will be used for my dinner. I am making uh, spaghetti tonight with um, dehydrated uh, vodka sauce, dehydrated peppers, and uh, mushrooms. And I'm gonna put a little bit of two-year-old cheddar in. I, I ate the um, laughing cow today uh, with the salami, so I still have some two-year-old cheddar so I can put that in the sauce too. So that'll be really, really yummy. I guess what, it's raining again. <laughs> um, okay, I uh, finally got the water boiling for a good amount of time. I made my cup of tea there, so that's sitting there. And that water that's left in there is going to be enough for the spaghetti. Hopefully it's not too much. If it's not enough, I can always add a little bit. Um, basically, I'm going to take this. This is the, the vodka sauce with the um, dehydrated peppers and mushrooms all mixed in together. I'm gonna dump that in there and I'm gonna dump the spaghetti in and it's all gonna cook together. And now it's starting to rain really hard, of course, while I'm trying to make dinner on the fire. <laughs> all right, I got all the things in the pot. Um, I had a little bit more water because it wasn't enough. And I uh, got the spaghetti in there. The uh, sauce is rehydrating, the peppers are rehydrating, and the um, mushrooms are all rehydrating, so. Once that all happens, it'll get really, really thick and it'll be finished and delicious. So I'm just kind of sitting here on the fire, hoping the rain doesn't put it out. Um, it's not raining that hard yet, but it's raining pretty good, just not, uh, not pouring. So as long as it doesn't pour, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> so it hasn't been on very long, maybe 15 minutes, if that and uh, just have it under this little bit of flame here. And um, the spaghetti's already all rehydrated. And look at the side, like look at the peppers, they're huge. They're all filled up and plumped up. I don't see any mushrooms, but I know they're around here somewhere. I didn't have that many in there. I didn't have that many left. Yeah, like there's some mushrooms. So I'm um, just gonna leave it on for a little bit longer. I just want the sauce to reduce a little bit more. 
Um, it's a little too sussy for me. I put too much water in, but sooner or later it will disappear again. So just have to watch that it doesn't get stuck to the bottom and burn, and uh, I'm good to go. Oh, my pasta's looking pretty good. Um, instead of using the two-year-old cheddar, <laughs> I am going to put in my last laughing cow cheese um, and stir that in because I want to use the two-year-old cheddar um, if I need to make a tuna wrap for lunch tomorrow because I really it really enhances the tuna a lot. So I'm going to stir that in and let it melt and it's going to make the sauce like an orangey, I'm hoping, and like make it all like like a creamy sauce, um, stuff I'm not supposed to have. <laughs> no, like, um, you know, like a rosé sauce. Okay, I'm going to eat. This looks good. It's so good. This is really, really hot. It's really good. I don't actually eat spaghetti with red sauce at home at all. But I really like it out here like this. Mm. Don't stop training again, so that's cool. Dinner was good. I'm just uh, deciding when to make the second half of my chocolate mudslide because I'm having it tonight. This is the big end of my trip celebration. It's not the end of the trip, but you know, it's my last night. Night number six. I don't think I've been out six nights. I think only once. Uh, no, six days, five nights. I don't think I've done six nights. I'm so happy with this drift. What I picked up is burning so nicely. Um, yesterday the wood was so wet and it just wouldn't burn. I just had to keep like tending to the fire every five minutes it would just go out. But today it's pretty much been going without me doing much to it. Like I just throw a log on every once in a while. I sawed a whole bunch of pieces and I stuck them under here under the table. Um, and then I have more on the other side. And um, yeah, just sitting here chilling out, watching the fire. I'm gonna make my dessert soon because it was delicious and it has to sit for a while anyway. And um, start cleaning up a little bit. This chocolate mudslide dessert is definitely way better with cold water. Um, I had it on the Twinkle Lake Loop and it was really, really hot that uh, trip, um, so I didn't have any, but the water's much colder now and it's made it like a chocolate mousse instead of pudding, so it's a lot better. I mean, it's still delicious either way, but it's much better with the cold water. Well, it is 9 o'clock on Wednesday night, September 9th, I think. <laughs> Day six of my trip and uh, I'm all snuggled up in my sleeping bag. It is raining. Um, it started raining about an hour ago and I was sitting out there at the table reading beside the fire and it was really nice but then the fire started um, slowly like going out. It wasn't like as hot because the, the rain was like getting to it. Um, I took the foil and all that stuff off and packed it up because you know, I'm leaving in the morning and um, I'm not, I don't leave any of that kind of stuff, right? So um, I packed all that stuff away already. So I came in here and I read for a bit in here and uh, looked at my map. Um, I just have to go like up and over and over Napoleon Mountain. And I think the hardest portage will be like portaging from the, the beach at Sandy Inlet to my car because I have to go through that mud, mud road, roller coaster road. So, um, and try to find my car. So that's probably going to be the most nerve wracking part of the day. It's nice to just do like the normal camping things and process firewood and went out for a little day paddle, you know, exploring, look for those pictos, look for the waterfalls. And, you know, it was just a nice day of just chilling by the fire, listening to the loons, reading my book. And, uh, it was awesome. So tomorrow I head out, uh, and, uh, we'll be ending this big adventure and I'm so happy 
that I came on this trip and that I didn't talk myself out of it. I was, I was really, really, really scared when, when Dave dropped me off. Not scared, really, just really anxious. I did weigh my stuff before I came. My backpack weighed 42 pounds, uh, the big one, and my small one weighed 12 pounds. Um, no, my big backpack weighed 43 pounds and my small little backpack weighed 12 and then the canoe's 30. So I was carrying 42 and 43, uh, on each load. So it was, it was, it was a pretty decent weight. It wasn't like, I'm not super lightweight, but it's seven days. Like you can only like, I'm not going to eat like, like astronaut food every day and, you know, not have some cookies or like some dessert or something like I have to eat and I uh, have to bring things I like to eat or I won't eat and then I won't have any energy. So I'm going to go. I uh, will see you in the morning. Good night. It's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> it has been pouring rain since I got in the tent at like nine o'clock last night. Still pouring, like six and a half hours, pouring rain straight. I hope that it stops when I get up. Well, good morning. It is 6.35 on Thursday, September 10th, and uh, I am up. Um, had a rough night last night. It poured rain all night. I had to go to the privy like three or four times, which sucked. Um, just making my oatmeal right now, uh, boiling the water, and uh, just in the last 15 minutes, the rain has slowed down considerably, almost stopped, which is amazing because, like I said, it's been pouring since I went to bed at 9 o'clock last night. I don't think it stopped all night. Um, so, just going to make my oatmeal, and then I'm going to make my way back to my tent over there and uh, start packing up my stuff and getting ready to get out of here. Um, I'm not going to keep my lunch. Usually I keep the lunch out of the bear vaults and just put it in the top of the backpack so I can have it on the way. Um, but since I'm estimating, it's only going to take me about four-ish, four and a half hours to get to my car. I'm going to leave the lunch in here and I've packed my pockets um, with granola bars. I have one in each pocket and some sesame snaps and a couple of Jolly Ranchers and um, that should take me to the car no problem. So um, my water is boiling, so I'm going to uh, stir this all up and uh, get moving. Well, it's 7.30 and uh, I'm just about packed up. All I have left to do is the tarp and uh, close the bag up. Look at these clouds. I'm pretty sure that they are going away. Uh, got all kinds of blue sky and looks like even some sunshine. Maybe coming my way today, which would be amazing. Um, I'm gonna hurry up and finish packing so I can get on the water. Well, it is 7.40 on Thursday morning. Sky looks like it's clearing. <laughs> Weather's in my favor once again. I'm truly grateful. Um, seven days ago, I put in at the Axis at Gamble and set forth to overcome the portages at uh, Cabin Falls, Bridalville Falls, Fat Men's Falls, and all the ones in between <laughs> to make it to Sandy Inlet and back to where my car is parked. Um, in a few hours, I will have completed that goal, and I'm really, really proud of myself. Um, it's been a long time coming, wanting to do this trip, and uh, I finally did it <laughs> and I can't believe I got it done and uh, even with a rest day on top of that to boot so just amazing I'm so so happy um, I'm also very much looking forward to getting to my car I know that the muddy roller coaster road that I'm gonna have to walk down to get to my car is gonna be um, probably a big obstacle I'm actually worried about it even after all the things that I've been through to get here um, that's now weighing on my mind like, oh man, I've driven through that thing and it's been hard on a car, so I can't imagine walking through it, but I gotta do it. So and sooner or later I will get to the end and I will be so happy and when I get home tonight I'm gonna celebrate big time. So um, let's finish off this journey. Come with me and let's get this done, okay? Okay, <laughs> I'm getting emotional again. 
Blue skies on their way in by the looks of it. Yucky, angry, dark clouds on the way out. And uh, I am on the way. Here we go. Let's finish this off. Paddling into the dark clouds. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if this is the greatest idea, but they are going away, but I might get caught up in something here. <laughs> the sun's like right there trying to come out. So I got this crazy sky in front of me. That darkness underneath the clouds, that is like black, black clouds. It must be storming over there so bad. <clears throat> and above me I have blue skies. I'm just making my way through the waterway towards uh, towards Beaver Island. Actually, I have to go around the top of it. Um, clouds are still looking very ominous. Uh, now that I've turned the corner, <laughs> um, I can see the whole sky. And to the left, which are the clouds that are coming over me, um, there are some dark ones there. They're not as dark and crazy as the ones over on the horizon to the right though, so that's good. And uh, the winds have picked up a little bit. Got just a couple of small waves, nothing crazy. Um, so, so far so good. It's very dark and weird looking out though. It's like a horror movie almost. There's fog rising from the water. There's super, super low clouds that look like they're, they look like they're like 50 feet up in the air, like I can touch them almost, like they're so low. It's uh, very cool. I'm just watching them as I'm paddling and praying to all of the necessary gods and spirits to keep me safe and let me make it to my destination. <laughs> I'm just at the top of Beaver Island and uh, just near the end of it. Um, and then I'll be going into a little channel in between some islands and then. Uh, Coming out into, I believe, Whitefish Bay, which is where um, we'll be getting onto the portage over Napoleon Mountain. The sun is right in front of me, and it is just blinding. Like it's it's uh, reflecting off the water, and it's just so strong. It's right in my eyes, and when I go to look um, at my screen on my phone to like video or check the time or look at the map or anything I can barely see like I'm just seeing like yellow spots everywhere so I was gonna try to get my sunglasses but I really don't think they're gonna make a huge difference um, so I'm just gonna keep paddling super pretty in here I remember this area very well when I came through last time Another bay, the water has calmed down as has the winds. I'm very sheltered here. And uh, I couldn't find the portage, but I saw this tree 
um, and I recognize the tree from when I was here last. Uh, the, lot, the first trip I ever did in, in Tamagami, I came through this portage, and then I was planning on going back through uh, a portage at Pickerel Bay, down, down the lake further, and um, it didn't exist. I couldn't find it. So I had to come all the way back up and go back up this one, so I've done this portage twice, technically, but I've walked it uh, many times in that twice, at least six times, I guess, with double carrying, so. All right, I'm here. It's 8.39. It took me an hour to get to the portage from my campsite. All right, I just took my backpack and um, the two water bottles up uh, into the trail a bit so it's protected in case it starts pouring. I'm going to uh, get the canoe ready to portage it. Uh, yes, setting up the system for sure. Uh, this is an 800 meter portage and there's a lot of uphill and downhill uh, just at either end and uh, some rocky spots in the middle. So I'm gonna take the canoe first cause I know what I'm getting into and I've done this portage before. All right, I'm just making my way through with the canoe. Um, yeah, I'm getting it done. <laughs> uh, just went through the rocky section on the uphill part. Um, it's not as bad as I remember it, just like everything else, which is great. Um, still wasn't fun though. Um, I believe I'm on this little flat part for a bit and uh, go through a foresty area and then I have to go down a steep hill at the other end. Hopefully that's not uh, too slippery or anything with the with all the rain we've had. Besides walking uh, from the beach to the car, this is technically the last portage of the trip. I wish it was the last portage of the trip because that one's going to be a bugger. There's some really pretty ones. Okay, see you in a bit. Well, it's been like almost 20 minutes. I think it's like 17 or 18. And I'm just coming up to the end, which is that steep hill I remember. I actually have a video of myself carrying the canoe up this hill. It ain't no Bridal Veil Falls, that's for sure. <laughs> like I said, how perceptions can change so quickly. But I still gotta be careful because everything is very wet and muddy and slippery. So, I'm just gonna get to the top part here. And these are great because I can walk in between the rocks and actually have to walk on the rocks. And that was the problem with um, all the paths by the falls. I actually had to walk on the rocks. I didn't have a choice. Oh, this is no problem. Just that. And then I'm done. I'm going to go get my bag. Get to the other end to find these beautiful clouds. I think they're going that way though. So that's good. I don't have too far left to go after this, but uh, I still have to go back and get my bag. Here's the yucky part. <laughs> the rock boulder garden. But again, I've been through so much worse now, it's kind of not that scary. But it's still finicky, right? I'm stepping in between the, the rocks, trying to. And then there's mud in between them, so my feet are actually slipping in the mud now. But uh, it's not bad. Not bad at all. You hear the wind starting to pick up up there though. I'm trying to hurry, but you can't really hurry going through this kind of stuff, you know? But this isn't sucky muck, it's just mud. So I can just walk right through it. Well, it's 9.35 and I'm still making my way through the portage with the pack on. Slipped in a little bit of mud there, see? Um, and uh, this whole little last bit here, the sun has been shining through the trees. So that is really encouraging. I'm hoping uh, there are good things once I get to the other side. 
Oh, I'm just coming down the hill here, the last little bit of the portage. And, uh, oh, it's so bright and sunny. I look and I'm like, oh, yeah, those dark clouds totally moved up. They're right under the sun now. Probably by the time I get on the water, they'll be covering it and uh, possibly pouring on me. <laughs> I have, I think, like maybe three kilometers, maybe four, to paddle to get to the takeout. So it's not very far. And then I just have to slog through that road, which if it's raining or not, I mean, it doesn't matter anymore. It's already sopping wet. So, okay, I better get on the move here. All right, it is 9.45, and I am ready to do the last little stretch of my trip here. Hopefully these clouds don't cause me too much problems. Um, I'm heading over to that point and then just around to the beach and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. See another canoe paddling. I think it's a canoe. It might be a speedboat. I can't tell from here. Paddling in. Alright, just making my way through towards the uh, takeout at Sandy Inlet. Conditions are very good. Uh, there's a bit of a wind but it's not affecting me whatsoever. Water is very, very calm for Lake Tomogamy, and I am a happy girl. All right, it is 10:20, and I am just about at the access. I got a little friend paddling with me named Stu. Um, he's also leaving today, and uh, he's parked at the gate, so he's offered to drive me through the muddy, mucky roller coaster road. So I might just take him up on that because I really don't want to do that. So. It is 1023 and I have made it to the beach. What a trip. All right, I am uh, just carrying my canoe up the portage, last portage of the trip, number 23. And uh, I was all set to get a ride from Stu and I looked over across the parking lot and there was my car. <laughs> Dave must have brought it all the way down here. I didn't even realize. And he left me a big long note because he thought that I forgot my tent and my sleeping bag. As I mentioned uh, on Saturday when I was at Cabin Falls, he had arranged for a float plane to bring my stuff. And then I guess Sue messaged him about the money I left for the shuttle service. And he asked her if I might be having an extra one. And she's like, oh yeah, she does that. <laughs> so. I guess he was going kind of crazy for 24 hours. Really sorry about that, Dave, but you should know better. Come on. Anyway, um, just gonna strap the canoe on the car when I get there and drive through the slippery spot. <laughs> Stu's behind me with his canoe. Um, even just this, the portage is like super muddy. <laughs> so um, the road's gonna be crazy. And uh, my car sounds like it needs something under the muffler. It's really loud. So um, hopefully it's okay. All right, it's 11.11. The road is really bad because it rained a ton while I was in there. So um, Stu is going first and he's going to keep an eye on me in case I need to get pulled out or something, which is amazing. Uh, I'm probably going to be feeling pretty rushed to do my recap tomorrow. I think I'm going to be pretty anxious to get on the road and uh, get moving and get a signal, tell people that I'm okay. I stood on the beach at Sandy Inlet and I, maybe I should save this for that tomorrow because I'm going to be in the same place. I did my very first trip in Tomogamy here. Started at Sandy Inlet and went through Diamond to Bob Lake, Virginia, all around through. And um, I... Uh, it was my first trip into Mogami and I remember standing on that beach almost crying because I was just so proud of myself because it was a really hard trip and this is just this has been so much harder 
and um, it's just just as great like just so awesome I'm super happy I did it 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 Bridalville Falls man I don't ever want to go back there again. that was so rough but at the same time it was awesome it was really awesome I have a love-hate relationship with this place I just wanted to say thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the series really crazy adventure but I'm glad I got through it and I'm really happy I made it back in one piece and uh, I'm not sure what I got planned for Thanksgiving but uh, I'm sure it'll be something fabulous hope you guys enjoyed the videos and we'll see you again next time bye Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.